Good morning, happy Vlogmas day 16. Today it is my birthday and I have friends coming over in approximately 15 minutes. And as you can see, my table does not look at all ready for uh, birthday guests. So let's uh, get this table set real quick and I will show you a little bit about a typical Danish way of celebrating a birthday at least the morning part, because we always have rundstykke, which is a special kind of bread that we uh, eat here in the morning. I'll place a camera somewhere you can uh, <laughs> follow along. And my friends has left the building. We are just now, you can probably hear the vacuum cleaner because Lars is just taking it for a walk around the house. <laughs> Tomorrow is the annual birthday Christmas lunch uh, with my parents, my aunt and my uncle, my brother and his girlfriend. Uh, the girls, of course, and some of the girls' friends and some of our friends. So we'll be like 18 people tomorrow for the big traditional Christmas lunch. If you have watched Vlogmas the previous years, this is a returning thing. Uh, the Saturday closest to my birthday this happens, and that is tomorrow. So tomorrow we are having this huge Christmas lunch. I will have food be delivered at any second, not finished catering or anything but just the groceries will be delivered because um yeah i just really didn't feel like going out today on my birthday and getting all the groceries so i had them to deliver to the house so they'll be here actually any minute and i'll prepare some of the food today i will be making curry salad which we eat on top of the pickled herring that's a big thing in denmark to eat pickled herring and i think uh Scandi all the scandinavian countries we do that among lots of other things like smoked eel, salmon, fried fish, uh, pork roast, uh, like a and some tadelera. We call that this, uh, which is like a, a puff pastry with a creamy chicken asparagus sauce inside. I'll show you that tomorrow. And lots of beer and snaps, and then. In the evening, we will go outside and we will have Glühwein, which is like a warm molded wine with some melted sugar. I'll show you all that tomorrow. There is a risk of us getting a little bit happy because of the amount of beer and snaps. So at some point tomorrow, I will stop recording. And uh, tomorrow's episode will not be ready at the usual time because there's no way I'm going to edit uh, tomorrow evening. So I'll be editing that probably Sunday morning or during, I don't even know exactly when. So uh, tomorrow's episode will, it will be out during Sunday, but I'm not sure at what time. So bear with me with that one. Um, I am right now just, I just cast it on for the hat on my small circular needle so I can knit in the round. It is in the three bases I showed you yesterday. And I have my little gauge swatch here. <laughs> And uh, I did the math and cast it on stitches. And now I'm trying to see if I can make uh, myself a hat out of this, uh, out of this yarn in this pattern. And I showed you yesterday, I just want to show you again that Sandy sent me this uh, bag. And I'm very excited because I thought it would be perfect for my new hat project. So 
I don't know if Sandy is watching, but Sandy, if you are, I just want you to know that I'm over the moon excited about this project bag and that to keep my new head design inside, it's just, it's just, it's just really perfect. So thank you so much for this. I really do love it. Um, so the winner of the send me a picture and I'll dye some yarn contest was Mikaela. I don't know if you're from Germany, Mikaela. If you're not, you'll probably pronounce it, your name <laughs> differently, Mikaela. But um, I have the yarn here. I'm very excited to be showing you this. This, I'll show you the, uh, the chemical sock base first. It's hard to carry that amount. This is the base. <laughs> this is hard. Um, but I just want to show more than one skein. I want to show a bunch. So this is the result. The brass, the gold, the sage, and a little bit of cream. So I'm pretty excited about the results of this. And on the single 366, it looks like this. Very golden. I think they turned out really good. And... I will put these online. I don't know if they will be online uh, right now. I'm, I'm not sure exactly when. I'll, I'll post on Instagram. It's always a good idea to keep um, if you want to keep up with when th when th if you want to keep up where with when things will be available online. You just uh, follow me on Instagram. You can even I think turn on like the little bell up in the right corner. On, your, on my Instagram profile so you can get notifications whenever I put something up. If you're not interested in that, of course, that's fine. But it's just if you don't want to miss something like an info like this, it's online now. I'm not sure what to call this. Maybe I'll just call it uh, the winner yarn of uh, December 15th because I drew the winner yesterday. Or I'll come up with a name. If you have a good idea, Michaela, if you have a good idea, <laughs> if any of you have a good idea for a name for this yarn, let me know. Uh, let's find Edwards. From Lisa, today is Lena Grassa about Berlin Sweet. I think Lena Grassa is German. Oh, yeah, that is so fun. So it looks like, yes, a tweed yarn with different colors of nips. Is it a sock yarn, Lisa? Probably is. It feels a little bit like a merino nylon blend. I'll put it in the basket. Thank you. And for and for the camera unit, I have picked uh, the theme for today is driving home for Christmas. That is my favorite Christmas song, and that feeling of driving home to my parents' house for Christmas is just the best feeling. And to listen to this song while driving home for Christmas is the best. Uh, this year I'm not driving home for Christmas until Christmas, but today it was it was supposed to be Esther driving home for Christmas today because uh, she was supposed to come home today. She came home yesterday. So I thought that Esther was driving home for Christmas today. So that is what inspired me for the color. I looked up a picture of, uh, I was Googled, like I did a, like a picture search on Google with the lyrics from the song and just to see if there were any pictures would pop up and um, there was one picture that reminded me of my own travel when I go to my parents house and it's dark it's cold we cross the bridge the water is like teal deep almost black so that was the kind of colors that inspired me for this yarn so this is the colors that it has like the cold, deep blue ocean, the cold sky and a little bit of mud and some black roads of driving home for Christmas. So this is the essence 
of that feeling for me. So, a blue one. Looks pretty good with the one from yesterday. I think these are pretty together. And a L'Occitane product for today is, it's another shower oil. I really love those. And I, especially when you go somewhere and you can just put this in your bag when you travel, that's nice. I will leave you for now and I will uh, go and clean up the house a little bit so we are ready for um, lots of people tomorrow. I am, I think I will be doing, one of the dishes for tomorrow is like an apple, Mm, it's not an apple sauce because it's like more of a I don't know the right word for that you just boil a lot of apples <laughs> and add a little bit of sugar and um, that is like the base and on top you get like thick slices of crispy bacon and you put that on in in Denmark we eat a lot of rupol. <laughs> that's a difficult word but it's uh, like a dark rye bread maybe you have seen that bread during vlogmas I remember I showed you lunch one day with that bread and some salmon on top. I don't remember what episode that was, but you probably noticed that dark bread. If not, it's just dark, very dark, very dark rye bread. We eat that a lot here. And we will have that bread with a little butter and then that apple sauce. Let's call it an apple sauce. I don't know what else to call it with the crispy bacon on top. That's one of the traditional Christmas lunch dishes <laughs> it's a lot of different things and you put them all on bread that's what it's all about i will be making that today as soon as the groceries arrive along with the curry salad for the hearings then we're going out for dinner and i said let's make it like a, let's go out early and come back early and just uh we can all just curl up on the couch and watch do you believe in santa those three christmas movies are my favorite i think because we have watched it so many times it turned into the girl's favorite Christmas movie as well. So it's it's really a favorite uh, around this house. So um, that's the plan for today. And of course the weather is gorgeous because I have been a really good girl this year. So I have nice weather and snow and frost. So that's perfect. I'll let you go for now. I'll talk to you later. Oh, and by the way, Mikaela, uh, let me know if you want the 366 single ply merino or if you want the Camejo sock base and send me please in an email email me this <laughs> information your name your phone number and your email address and I will uh, make sure to send you one of these as soon as possible that's all for now guys I'll see you bye Bacon's been cut, it's in the fridge because we need to fry that tomorrow. Nobody wants soggy with bacon, it, we need it crisp. Have a few apples left over, I want to give to the birds.
walking back from the restaurant. Just want to say goodnight and thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.